Okay. So I this tied is this how one. You get it in there in the first place. How you get the small tube inside the big tube. Yes, yeah, you need to pull it out. Because it gives pull. you some trouble. Yeah, inside. It's not easy. That will be a moment that. Stuck. It's not easy to continue. Right. So you need this. That's how electricians do, right? When exactly. When they're doing conduit and stuff like that. It's got it. Hold that. Hold there it. There we go. And now this little guy is going to pull on through because he's got that wire Perfect. attached to it. So and then you'll want it how much longer, more? you said? About One inch from every side. Okay, so an extra inch on each side to allow that smaller tube to go around inside the bigger tube. Yeah. And then I'm just going to get real close with that so we can see. Yeah. And then you can cut that off once you get it around there. Beautiful. Okay, these are special tubing pliers or cutters. There we go. Makes life easy. little uh, nozzle, nipple, whatever you want to call it, sticking out there and it's not going to pop back inside while you're trying to mess with it. Okay. So it stays. Yeah. <laughs> I know when you're making these things you figure out all the little, okay, next time I'm going to do it this way and maybe it'd be easier. If so not. There, now it's it stays. Stuck. Okay. Then when you fill it up. And on the inside layer you put which cans water? Inside I use uh, CO2 if it's going to be in the body. Inside CO2 cans and zinc on the outer. Okay. If I use it for uh, that small one is going to use for a head. So it's going to be zinc in the center and CO2 in the mm -hmm. outer uh, okay. ring. And that's the plasma water or the GANs also? It's only plasma water. Okay, that makes it so doable for people, you know? So you can, so if, if you want to one. add a little bit of GANs, just to be sure that you have mm -hmm. that, uh, that strong, uh, being the strength yeah. inside, you can add it. Yeah, that makes sense. So what I do on the next step, this one, I heat it up this one. Okay. And then I put them inside to dilate it. Mm -hmm. Then the same do I, I do the same thing. And you'd be holding that with a glove or something, because I was thinking of that. Once I heat that metal up, I need to hold it with a. Nope. So and so. What I do this to keep it in place. Okay. Get that out of trouble. So once you fill it up with GANs, see, mm -hmm. it's easy to put them inside. Yep. Okay. And what I do also, <laughs> pause. <Yep. laughs> okay, so we'll do, once you get it on there, a little zip tie, you hold it snug in place, pull it good and tight, there we go, and then, so that's going to fit inside now. And it will be yeah. steady. Okay. Well, I see why you went with the smaller tube inside the one inch because I bought a tube that was mm, maybe three quarters. And then inch or once it's, yeah. the other one, it's so easy. Once you get it inside, oh, yeah. it goes but very easy. But you gotta easy. fill it up, right? Maybe so. The have same two thing. Two people hold you, it up, right? And no, I do it myself, just uh -huh. like this. Once you fill it up, you do this once. Just carefully. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter if there's a little bit of air in there. That has the other one. Yeah, and it's okay. Yeah, mine is very. Crimped after heated up and yeah. but that makes sense because now the water will free flow through that tube. Uh -huh. Yeah. So <clears throat> I was gonna gonna ask you about that. Do you think it makes a difference the water free flows through there? Yes. Or is it, if it's if it for some reason you have a different kind of connector that it's not connected in there, it's gonna ch affect the flow of the plasma. See? Perhaps. Yeah. That makes sense that it's got that smooth flow. Beautiful. Nice. Yes. When I use this, be careful. Okay. 
and then once it goes inside this one I have to tighten them up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have to have room for the tube to go. Yes. Then all the way in. once it goes inside, you start pushing with this. Okay, right. Because otherwise it's gonna. Yeah. You see. But it. after you heated it up, it's gonna go in pretty easy, easy right? Uh -huh. And then it's gonna cinch down on there as it cools. See, so easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can make sure and get it all the way in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like Carrie. I'm here with Dr. Rodrigo. <laughs> 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 going through how he's made his new health tubes. And I was asking him how he gets the liquid in the tubes because I imagine it's a little bit of a trick. So It is. We, no? Yes, yeah, Carrie. Okay. On. There's one you put the, the tube inside, you put on the thin level, and with the syringe, you start, or syringe, or, uh, or uh, a start? funnel, oh. you start uh, um, filling up the inner tube. When it comes out the other side, which is already complete, then carefully you join them together. <laughs> but to do that, as mm -hmm. you see, it came inside, so I have a little trick. Mm -hmm. How possible so, too. Yeah, once you get all the liquid in there, then you fi finish it up with a couple of good strong zip ties. You've got like three on that one and two on that one. So uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, something to hold it together. It's not going to pop out in the meantime. Okay, so how are you going to set this up? What are some ideas? Okay, th now? Okay, this is the, uh, the advantage to have two rings. In one inside of the other, you you play with different energies. The one inside has CO2, and the other is uh, uh, zinc. So you can use this you, instead of a health unit that we use in coils. We use this one. You put two or three rings inside the body, and also you can lie down. You put on the bed mm -hmm. and lie down. For, create a bed in between those rings. Very good. And you have the energy to change your body. And you would also maybe put them like on some support to hold them. Yes, I'm, I'm to go. gonna create a, a frame. Mm -hmm. In order, uh, I have an idea how to create a frame so we can put all the rings and adjust it according to the height of every single person. Exactly. So it'll be easier. You can change the height and change the rings, different yes. content of different. The dances. one uh, and the head is gonna be uh, the opposite: Z zinc inside and CO2 outside. The opposite of this one. The one is going to be on the head. Mm -hmm. So this is the beauty of all this new rings. Would you put any of the, you know, like magnesium, calcium? No, those use kind the of patches. Once you all? have to fill this, the fill, mm -hmm. then you put patches. You use patches or small rings. Okay. Depends of the organ that you want to target. It's not just uh, all of it here. It depends what you want. You can. You have to create the different fields of energy mm -hmm. to extract or to. Uh, Reconstruct or to add, uh, add some tissues to allow the uh, the persons to develop new tissue or mm -hmm. extract that tissue out of the body. Okay. Would you ever put like CH3 or CH3? Yes, you can use all the rings? things, all the patches. That's what we yeah. have magnesium, mm -hmm. calcium. No, in the rings, iron. I mean. No, yeah, no, in the rings, it's only this. Yeah. And then use the patches. As well as the health unit. The health unit in the body use uh, CO2 and zinc, and mm -hmm. the top only zinc. Okay. So it's the same as the body, but you feel the energy of the, of the gans inside in the middle. You feel the energy inside. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're in a big tube torus. <laughs> yep. A huge one. Body so size. a new spaceship. <laughs> yeah, it might just be. You better keep an eye on the people in there because they might disappear. <laughs> nice, beautiful. <laughs> okay. Thank I hope you. guys you make it this. Is it easy to make it?